It was Jake's first day as a Coast Guard officer, and it was going to be a day he would never forget. He was sent off on a mission to check out an unmanned blue boat, which they assumed was lost at sea. As the newest member of the team, he would be the one to enter the blue boat first, and against everybody's expectations, it would lead to a complete disaster. But before we start, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Jake was doing his best to hide the fact that his hands were shaking as he opened the hatch. As he finally managed to open the hatch, he let himself slide into the boat. He had not been prepared for this. What should he do now? Jake made his way out of the boat as quickly as he could, and as soon as the other officers saw the look on his face, they knew something was wrong. But what had happened? What had Jake seen inside the boat? And whose boat was it anyway? The Coast Guard had received various reports about an unmanned boat in the middle of the sea, and Jake's boss had quickly assembled a team to sail out there and check it out. Despite being nervous, Jake was also excited, and he was curious to see how the officers got to work. Moments later, one of the officers yelled, There it is! I can see it! Jake knew that it was time for action. He was getting less nervous and more excited now. When everything was in place, it was time for the next step, taking a look inside. The officer made his way to the front of the boat, but as he walked past Jake, they locked eyes for a moment. It's Jake, right? Would you like to start your first day in the most exciting way possible? He asked with a mischievous smile on his face. Jake blushed and he stammered, Me, um, are you sure? I, I don't. The officer leaned closer to him and whispered so that nobody else could hear it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but if you do, I'm sure Mr. Leroy will appreciate it. Jake fell silent as he thought about it. Mr. Leroy was their boss, and he sure did want to impress him. Moments later, he finally said, All right, I'll do it. He thought to himself, I'll be fine. However, nobody would realize that until it was already too late. He took a deep breath as he stood by the railing, and he finally climbed over it and made his way on top of the blue boat. He carefully walked over to the hatch and he tried pulling it open. Jake finally pried open the hatch, the creaking sound echoing eerily over the waves. As the hatch swung open, he hesitated for a moment, the reality of the situation dawning on him. Whatever was inside this abandoned vessel was now his responsibility to uncover. As he descended into the boat, Jake's eyes struggled to pierce the gloom. The faint beam of his flashlight revealed a cluttered interior, but as it fell on something in the corner, his heart skipped a beat. Jake emerged from the hatch, his face ashen and eyes wide with disbelief. His colleagues, noticing his shocked demeanor, rushed to his side, their faces etched with concern. It was clear from his expression that whatever he had discovered inside the boat was far from ordinary. With a determined nod, Officer Martinez joined Jake, descending into the boat's shadowy depths. Inside the cramped space, Jake and Martinez moved methodically, uncovering layer after layer of the boat's secrets. The urgency of their mission was clear. They needed to find the owner of this mysterious boat as soon as possible. The stakes had risen, and there was a collective understanding that time was of the essence. As the Coast Guard boat pulled away, the blue boat sat ominously on the horizon, a silent sentinel guarding its secrets. The team left with more questions than answers, the shadow of the unknown looming over them. As the Coast Guard vessel docked, whispers quickly spread through the coastal town like ripples on water. Residents gathered in small groups, exchanging theories and rumors about the mysterious blue boat. Jake could feel the weight of the town's gaze upon him, their fears and expectations pressing down like a heavy fog. In an effort to quell the rising tide of gossip, the Coast Guard released a statement, but its deliberate vagueness only fueled the fire. The community's anxiety seemed to swell, the lack of concrete information leaving a void filled by wild speculation and unease. Jake and his team hunkered down amidst a sea of paperwork and records, their investigation into the boat's owner underway. They scoured through maritime logs, registration databases, and recent reports hoping for a lead. Each officer was focused, their determination evident as they combed through every possible source of information. Hours turned into days, yet the team found themselves at a standstill. The lack of answers only added to the enigma, the boat's origins and purpose shrouded in a thick fog of mystery. Just when the team's spirits were at their lowest, an anonymous tip breathed new life into the investigation. 
In the midst of the murky investigation, a faint lead emerged. A dock worker, speaking in hushed tones, mentioned a boat that matched the description of the blue boat, seen under suspicious circumstances. This small piece of information was like a beacon in the dark, guiding Jake and his team toward a potential breakthrough. However, this new lead only served to deepen the mystery. The more the team uncovered, the more complex the puzzle became. With renewed determination, the team followed the lead from the docks, but it quickly became apparent that the path was fraught with false trails. Jake watched as morale ebbed, the collective disappointment palpable among his colleagues. As days turned into weeks with little to show for their efforts, the urgency of the investigation intensified. The lack of progress was not just a professional setback, it was a ticking clock, each passing moment a reminder that the mystery of the blue boat remained unsolved, its secrets lying dormant and threatening beneath the waves. During a late night stakeout, Jake's situation took a perilous turn. A sudden, unprovoked attack narrowly missed him, sending a clear message. Their investigation was stepping on dangerous toes. This close call was a stark reminder that their quest for answers was more than just a bureaucratic challenge. It had real, potentially lethal consequences. This case was no longer just a professional obligation. It had become a personal crusade for truth. In a moment of inspiration, Jake decided it was time to revisit the beginning the blue boat. He had a nagging feeling that they had missed something crucial during their initial investigation. With a sense of renewed purpose, he led his team back to the enigmatic vessel, hoping to uncover what they had overlooked. Upon their return, the team conducted a second, more meticulous examination of the boat. The discovery of the hidden compartment breathed new life into the investigation. The team's energy surged as they realized the potential implications of this find. As Jake cautiously opened the hidden compartment, a trove of documents and digital devices lay before him. Sifting through them, he found undeniable evidence linking the boat to a notorious smuggling ring. This crucial clue, overlooked in the chaos of the first investigation, tied the mysterious blue boat directly to the smuggling ring, providing a tangible link to the criminal underworld. With the key pieces of evidence in hand, Jake and his team began piecing together the complex web of the smuggling ring's operations. Methodically, the team worked to expose the full extent of the smuggling ring's network. With each passing day, they closed in on the key figures orchestrating the operation. They were on the brink of dismantling a criminal empire that had lurked in the shadows of their seemingly peaceful town. As the day of the final operation dawned, the team geared up for what was to be a dramatic showdown. Each member was acutely aware of the danger that lay ahead. The operation kicked off under the cloak of early morning. The team moved with precision, their every step laden with tension. As they closed in on the ringleader's locations, the danger of the situation was palpable. The operation teetered on the edge of peril, but the team's courage and preparedness paid off. They successfully apprehended the ringleaders, dealing a critical blow to the smuggling network. However, the victory was not without its costs. Close calls and injuries served as stark reminders of the risks they had faced. In the days following the operation, a sense of relief and triumph washed over the coastal town. The dismantling of the smuggling ring brought a semblance of justice and closure. The community, once overshadowed by hidden dangers, began the slow process of healing and rebuilding, the ordeal bringing them closer together. The story culminated with Jake reflecting on the journey he had embarked upon. From a nervous rookie to a respected hero, his journey was marked by challenges, growth, and resilience. Recognized for his bravery and determination, Jake pondered the impact of his actions on the town and on his own life. He realized that the true worth of his journey lay not just in the accolades, but in the strength and wisdom he had gained along the way.